Hello, teacher. Hello. How Good are you? I'm fine. Good. Thank you. And you? How Only are you? you? Only another, another Joel in me. Only three. It's, okay, yes, we're on a three. Yes, that's right. It's not late. It's, it's, it's uh, early. how do you say? Temprano. Morning, no. <laughs> early. How do you say? Early. Early. Uh, yes, I, I forgot. Early. Okay. I, I see my note. It's, it's my block. Yes, it's supposed to be. Sorry, fine. because I don't have. Uh, 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 repeat again, please. Can you say? No, that it is nine o'clock right now. So. We are on time. So, uh, welcome, uh, Miss Torres, uh, Mr. Pastran. Nice to see you. Nice. Hi, teacher. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, Mr. And you? How are you? Uh, I'm great. Thank you for having me. Okay, very good. Have you been working? For this rest, teacher. Now tell me. Uh, uh, we are we are early because uh, for this reason we get extra points in platform. Extra points. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. To get points in the platform, that something that you have to do is um, just uh, complete the exercises. You have a lot of opportunities to complete the exercise there, so don't worry about it. Uh, just try till you get ten. Okay, don't don't worry. 
if you haven't uh, done any of the exercise that you have on the platform, just uh, try to solve those mistakes. And so if, if, if for instance, if you got a, well, three in the first lab, it, you won't get three. You you will get three if you want because you have opportunities to get ten. If you if there is a sentence that is wrong, just um, complete it again. Okay, till it shows uh, the, the correct answer, and you're going to get uh, extra points. Okay, uh, let's see uh, who else I have here, Miss. Uh, Ms. Torres, welcome. Uh, Ms. Larin, thank you. Mr. Diaz, welcome. Uh, Mr. Cancura, welcome. Uh, Mr. Castro, and let's see who else. Miss Siciliano. And Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank thank you. You're fine. <laughs> I'm fine too. So uh, I'm excited to to start with this um, video class tonight because we have a lot of things to to do and we have a lot of exercise to solve. Um, we're going to be reviewing some of uh, some of the um, tenses in, in the way that we construct and sentences in English. Uh, tonight, and then we're going to be uh, doing some exercises. Uh, but we're going to wait just, I guess, 30 seconds more. And let me see, it's night, uh, five minutes now. Okay, we won't wait. <laughs> we're going to start right now. Um, let's see. Okay, you have in your screen, the presentation that I have prepared for you. Um, we're going to be uh, mostly practicing than uh, studying uh, the theory of those things that I'm going to show you, but we're going to do it in, in um, using the whiteboard that we have in this, um, in this uh, um, uh, tool in Zoom, okay? Let's see. This is a, a objective that we're going to be discussing for tonight class. And it says, in this class, you will be exposed to an audio where examples of past, present, and future tenses are used. Um, that's the objective that we're going to achieve tonight, OK? Um, I usually do um, this at the beginning of, of the uh, video conference because something that I like is that you can participate, that you can uh, give your opinion, and also that you can um, and you can create your own thinking uh, in specific things. Okay, so for that reason, I take some of the uh, some quotes and, and I show it to you. And uh, I like to listen your ideas. I like to listen your opinions. If you agree or if you disagree in something. Uh, and in that way, you can practice speaking. That is one of the harder things to, to, um, to um, manage in English. Uh, let's see. I need a volunteer to uh, tell me. What do you think about this quote? This, the quote said, it is better to fail in originality than to succeed in imitation. He who has never failed somewhere, that man cannot be great. Failure is the true test of greatness. Let me see, what do you think about it? Okay. What do you think about this quote? It is better to fail in originality than to succeed in imitation. 
He who has never failed somewhere, that man, or we can say uh, she who has never failed somewhere, that woman cannot be great. Failure is a true test of greatness. Okay, what do you think, uh, Mr. Let's see, I, I will choose someone from the from the beauty conference, from the list that I have here, because nobody wants to participate, I guess. Uh, and remember that I liked when you uh, participate. Uh, let me see, uh, Mr. Castro, can you share with us your opinion about it? Are you there? Well, I can listen. Uh, let me see, Miss Larin. Can you hear me? Excuse me. Miss Larin, Hello. okay. I was asking, I, I was asking about your opinion uh, of this uh, of this quote that I, that uh, I had prepared for you. It says, "It is better to fail in, or, in, in originality than to succeed in imitation." He who has never failed somewhere, that man cannot be great. Failure is a true test of greatness. What do you think about it? It's the truth. It's true. Why? Explain me why. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. I think it's true because it's better uh, hide in, in yeah. something uh, 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 I don't know. <laughs> okay. Pero I, I agree. I think that it's like <laughs> it's like always be yourself. Always be okay. yourself. Okay, I like that. Yes. I like that sentence. Yes. Always and be yourself or be yourself yes. in this case. And the main mistake is part of the progress of someone. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your participation. Does anyone else wants to add something to this quote? Uh, let's see Mr. Diaz, for instance. Uh, Mr. Diaz, I can hear you. You have your microphone muted. Please open your microphone. Is there? Mm. I like it. it's better original. Okay. It's true. Okay, thank you. So, and, and we can apply these things in, in our daily life. And for instance, if you are if you are studying in a university, okay, uh, we have a big problem in, in education and sometimes that happen in, in higher levels of education, for instance, universities, high schools, and, and even, well, in small uh, um, um, grades of a school. Uh, and there is something of that, that has to be with plagiarism, okay? Plagiarism, that, that's something that um, have a, a big impact in, in our society. Why? Because most of the time we're looking for information. Uh, let me see how I have my microphone. Yeah, sorry. 
give me a second because someone has the microphone open it and I'm listening. Let me see who. Okay, it's closed now. Okay, I was telling you that uh, there is a big problem here. Sometimes uh, we commit plagiarism in many things. Okay, for instance, if, if uh, the teacher has uh, assigned me a, a homework, okay, it is easy to go to to enter internet and just copy and paste information. Okay, um, in our work, okay, it is easy uh, for us just to propose a project that has been developed by someone else or that has been a create by someone else and if we don't add okay or creativity okay or ideas we just we just copy and paste the information i invite my students most of the time to um to create their own uh, original things why because it's much better it's um, awesome when uh, you saw people that uh, has created their own things and they success using their own things, no, uh, with things of someone else. Why? Because at the end, that is a, a cool plagiarism. And uh, something that sometimes we don't know is that plagiarism, uh, and if, if it is treated with, with uh, legal things and, and, and it is applied, and, specific law okay, can be penalized. Uh, but we're going to continue talking about this later. We're going to focus in the um, topic that has been uh, has been used for you uh, from the platform. Okay, we're going to see in section number four and uh, I guess it's 4.1. Uh, where we have a video where, where we have an objective that we must achieve. Um, the topic for tonight's class is past, present, and future tense. I know that many of you manage, uh, manage most of this information about the past, present, and future. Uh, I know it because you are intermediate students, uh, but we're going to review this information, even though if you know that, uh, or if you have studied that and it can be a little bit more for some of you, we're going to review it because it is important to apply it to in, in, in some conversations. And, and also because we are going to see um, a video at the end of this topic and we're going to be developing some exercise related to it. Well, and we're going to start with the first one, okay? the simple present okay the simple present tense this is uh, the most basic uh, structure in english the simple present tense um it says that the simple present tense is when you use a verb to tell about things that happen continually in the present okay like for instance every day every week every month every year uh, well something that happened continue Continuously, uh, we use the simple present tense for anything that happened often or is factual, or, or, or if that things that we are referring to is true. Okay, so that's when we use the simple present. Okay, but we're not this, we're not going to discuss more information about the theory about how a simple present is. What we're going to see right now is how we construct sentences using simple present. And you're going to help me with it. I will change this. Um, let me see this screen and I'm going to share to you the whiteboard. Can you see the whiteboard right now? Can you see the whiteboard? Yes. yes. Okay, thank you. Yes, thank you for answering. Uh, let's see. You're going to help me. When we're going to construct a simple present uh, tense or sentence, uh, what do we need? What do we need? Can you help me with it? I eat pronoun. every day. Pronoun. A pronoun. Okay, a pronoun. 
a pronoun, okay? We are going to see how we construct simple, simple present. Something that we need is a pronoun or a noun. These things, these two elements are called subjects. We're going to write it in that way, subjects, okay? Subjects. That is the name that we give for nouns or pronouns or uh, things that we want to name. Uh, okay, we're going to use subject and what else? Ver verb. Verb. Ver something Ver more than the action that it's been developed. Um, let's see, what else? For a compliment? compliment. A compliment. Okay, a compliment. Oh, uh, it is called to um, object. Okay, object. We have three elements there, and uh, with this uh, with this structure, we can now create a sentence. Le uh, let me highlight this part. Uh, let me see. It's okay in that way. I would put it there in the middle of the whiteboard. Um, let me see. We have that structure. So it's uh, your turn. You are going to construct a sentence using that structure. What we're going to do is using the whiteboard. I don't know if you are connected from, I'm sorry, if you are connected from your computer or maybe it could be your cell phone, but I think that in your cell phone doesn't work. But if not, you can send the, um, the sentence to the chat of this video conference and I will post it in the white in the whiteboard. Okay, so if you use your computer, you can type there. Let's see. Uh, Marcela Aguilar is typing right now. Go ahead. Write a sentence oh, using. Okay, write a sentence using simple present uh, and put it there in the in the in the chat. Okay, so we have three elements: subject plus pair plus subject. Do it in that way. Send it to, to the chat of this video conference. Uh, in this part, I will span a hello. In that way, you can identify where it is. Let me see. Hello. So, pause your sentence in simple present. Here, okay. Go ahead. I'm I'm waiting for you. Post your simple present tense there. Post it there, and I will translate. I mean, I will. Where is it? In the chat. Chat. Ah. Go go to the chat. Go to the chat and. Uh, pause your sentence there. Let me see. Uh, I have the first one. I will do it with red. Okay, I have the first one there. What else? This is the next one. Okay. I sleep every night. We're going to see the, the sentences later. Okay, that's the reason why I'm posting the sentences here. Who else? Okay, I do exercise for one hour. Very good. It's a little windy right now. Very good. Okay, there are around, let me see how many. People, you are, you are 17. Okay, you're 17. Please pause your sentence. Let me see. Okay. I like, I like. Okay, I see Ashton series nine. 
Okay, I have my blow. Very good. Uh, we and Mary we. We're going to check the sentences later. I'm just copy and copy in the sentence that you are writing. Okay. If you if you can use the whiteboard, you can type it there. So if not, you can do it in chat. Let's see. I get cities enough. Uh -oh. Let me see. No one else is right in there. Okay, let me see. We have uh, sentences here in the whiteboard. We have, uh, let me count, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten sentences there. That's mean ten people uh, participate in this exercise. Um, and we're going to check all the sentences that we have here. And um, the way that we're going to do it is by checking if those sentences are correct or incorrect, okay? We're going to check if uh, there is something that we, if there is something that we must, um, let me check. Okay, nobody is, is posting more sentences. Uh, what we're going to do is check if the, uh, the sentence is correct or not. And if there is something that we need to solve to complete the um, sentence. Remember that we are talking about the simple present. I will write it here. Simple present tense. Okay, simple present tense. That is, con it is constructed by is a subject plus a verb plus an object. Okay, here we have the first sentence. The sentence number one, he goes to the bank. Okay, he goes to the bank. Let me see, uh, what do you think? Is it correct or is it incorrect? What do you think about it's it? Correct. It's correct. Okay, very good. It's correct if he goes every day to the bank. Okay, very good. We're going to check it. Uh, let's see, we're going to give a mark. Is it correct? Something that we have to change, and, and I will, and we're going to be um, learning some things, that's, things like this um, in the process, but do not, do not worry about, is about um, some specific grammar rules. In this case, uh, because uh, at the beginning in the sentence, we must use capital letter. Instead of using, instead of using he uh, uh, with H, the small one, we must use he, okay? And the period at the end, just something like that. Okay, the second one. I live with my parents and my brother. I live with my parents and my brother. Um, Okay, tell me, is it correct or incorrect? It's correct. Is it correct? Okay, very good. That's right. Um, let me check this. I weigh Emery way. Is it correct? Or oh, I don't know if weigh is, is a bear. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You're not sure. Okay, what about the rest? That's incorrect. That's incorrect. Okay. Yeah, maybe maybe the corrector. Uh, <laughs> okay. You know. Uh huh. It's okay. missing the verb. The verb is missing. Okay. Yes, that's right. Uh, something that we must. Uh, uh, something that we can do to correct this. Sentence can be like, let me think. Uh, let me check. I will Emery way. Maybe you should ask the the the, the person who made made that one because apparently um, the keyboard uh, corrector uh, do it do that did that. Okay, so could be, could be. Could you be. should ask the person. 
But what the thing was, is, what she or he wanted to say. Okay. Uh, I think that I think that uh, she or he wants to say, "I go away." Maybe. I go away. Okay. I go away. This part, I go. With Emery. Emery, I don't know. Emery sounds a name. <laughs> yes. Could be Emery. Or it could be every every day, for example. I go away every day. Could be I go away. Doesn't make sense, but it's... Um, if we use grammar, is it correct? I go away. Uh, let's see. Every every day. Maybe she or he wanted to say, "I walk every day." Oh, could be, could be. Yes, could be. You may. I will sense. use this one. Could be like I walk. Ah, sorry. I'm worrying. I walk every day. Okay, that way is it correct, right? I walk every day in that way. So we correct it. This is the that, that's the purpose of this uh, of this exercise. Okay, to practicing. We're going to add ah, this. <laughs> okay, let's check the other one. So in this case, we correct it. Is it correct? Uh, let's check this one. I sleep every night. Is it correct? Yes. It's yes. correct. Yes. It's correct. It's correct. That's right. true. That's true. But remember to add the period at the end. OK? Uh, this next one, you walk to a school. You walk to a school. Is it correct? Yes or not? Yes, it's correct. Yes, it's correct. Okay. Yes. It is. And we must use oh, capital letter. <laughs> capital letter. Okay. So in that way. Okay, very good. I do exercise for one hour. Correct or incorrect? Yes, it's correct. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's right. Just type the period at the end. Okay. Let's see the next one. I see Asian uh, series at nine. This is correct because uh, she or he always see Asian series at night, every night. Yes, very good. The period at the end, it, it is correct. Okay, it's a little windy right now. Okay, correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Uh -huh. Incorrect. Okay, let uh, let me know why. Because it's present continuous. Present continuous. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, it's not present continuous. No, 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 it's not present continuous. Ay, because uh, uh, that person use our verb to be. Okay, but in this case, it is correct because it's simple present. Uh -huh. It is yeah, a little yeah. windy right now. The only thing that uh, uh, he or she did, I don't know who, who did it. The only thing that uh, uh, he or she did is just use the apostrophe and that's correct, okay? Uh, you can use it. And it's a good way to, to write sentences. It is good. Uh, but, okay, but uh, in this case, it, it, it is correct, okay? Because we're using uh, the verb be and, um, when we use the third person, remember that we must use is, okay? Uh, for instance, we, we use is with he is, she is, it is. So, is it correct? In this case, in this sentence, it's a little windy right now because it's happening right now. It's, it's happening, it's ah, okay, yes, happening it's happening, right now. it's happening. Okay, and the next one, I'm like, um, play the guitar. Incorrect. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. incorrect. Okay. incorrect. What is incorrect. the change that we must do to this sentence to correct it? I like to play guitar. Like, exactly, like. exactly, exactly. We must delete el, um, the Therapy. this part, the verb am, um, and we just uh, can say I like 
to play the guitar. Okay. To play. I like to play the guitar. In that way, we have the, the period at the end. And it is correct. Excellent. Uh, uh, without the apostrophe. Yes, without the apostrophe. Without it. Okay. Um, let's see. The next one. I hang out my blouse. Is it correct or incorrect? Correct. It's correct. correct. It's correct if she or he do it. Do do the things every day when she arrives at home. Okay, very good. Thank you. Yes. Uh, the next one. I like reading a uh, detective stories. It's correct. It's correct. Okay. It's correct. Okay. It's continuous. Continuous. No, it's a gerund, and when it's a gerund, uh, exactly. you are reading. But it's exactly. Uh, in this case, uh, it can be a little bit confusing uh, because we're using gerund. The gerund is when we use a noun um, that seems to be like a verb. Uh, in this case, I like, like in this case, is the verb in present. The present continuous just happen if we use the uh, verb to be. For instance, if I say, I uh, am reading the detective studies, in that case, is present continuous. One characteristic that uh, we must keep in mind when writing continuous uh, or present continuous tenses is that always have the, the verb to be in, in the three form, is, am, um, or are, okay? So in, in that way, uh, can be present continuous. But in this case, we're using like. That means that we're using a gerund. The gerund is the noun for reading. Okay, so I think that all those are the, the, the sentences in simple present and you did it well. And we could read all the sentences and you can take note of this if you want or a screenshot if you want to practice later. Okay, so uh, we're going to, I will share to you the presentation that correspond to this class. And we're going to be talking about the past tense. As I told you, this is just a review of um, of how we construct sentences. Uh, let me go to the next one. Okay, simple pass, simple pass. And uh, someone has the microphone, the microphone up and let me see who, okay, here, I got it. Teacher, excuse Tell me, me. Excuse me. I have a question. Go ahead. About the sentence, uh, I walk every day. I remember every day is a word that is uh, united. And in the example is uh, separate. Every day. You can use it in both ways. Okay. Every day or every day. So it doesn't matter. You can use it in, okay. use in the both form. Okay. Thank you. Every day or every day. So it, it, it's mean the same. Okay, does anyone else has an, uh, uh, questions for me about the, oh, about the uh, simple present tense? Okay. Now one. So we're going to uh, see then the simple past tense. Check it out the information that I have for you. It says, the simple past is a verb tense that is used to talk about things that happen or exist before now. Imagine, 
Someone asked what your brother Wolfgang did while he was in town last week. We're going to keep this in mind, okay? And what we're going to do, uh, we're going to see the, the, the whiteboard and right now. And what we're going to see, to, I mean, to, to take into account is this context. So you're going to imagine that someone asks what your brother Wolfgang, in this case is, is um, no. it's going to be your brother, but um, it's supposed that it's your brother, okay? But uh, we're going to work with this context. And um, you are going to express what he did while he was in town the last week, okay? We're going to take this context and we're going to use the whiteboard right now. Let me show you. I'm going to clear your drawings there. Okay, there. Uh, first of all, we must construct the structure of the um, simple past tense. Help me. What do I have to add to a simple past tense structure? Subject. Subject. Okay, the subject. Very good. Ah, subject. Okay. Well, what else? Past. 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 Okay. Password. What else? Uh, Complement. Complement. Complement or also called object. Okay. It's better if we call object. Okay, there we have subject plus password plus object. This part, um, and we were, well, I will write it there. And let me, give me, give me a second, okay? I'm going to write simple as then. Simple past tense. Okay, in this part, if we're talking about simple past tense and we use the subject plus um, the verb be, I mean the, the password plus the object, um, we must keep in mind that we have two um, different types of verb. We have the verbs that are regular and we have the verbs that are irregular verbs. Um, what happened? And, and I want you to answer me these questions. What happened with the verbs that are, that use the uh, regular form or that are regular? What happened with them when we use it in past? The verb and only, only add exactly, exactly. Thank you, Mr. Kanjura. We add just ed at the end, okay, of the verb. For instance, if I write here. Uh, let me see, what is the, okay, here. If I uh, say, if I use the verb to walk, to walk, okay. Walk. Okay, what, I, what I'm going to do is just add the ed, okay. Walk, uh, walk in this way. Uh, give me a second, I will try to use this. Okay, in that way. Um, I'm using the infinitive to walk and I'm using the past form of this verb that is walk, okay? So this is just an example. Uh, but what happened with the irregular verbs? What happened there? What do we have to do? The regular verbs ending in letter in, in, in another. Memorize. <laughs> oh, who who answered that? The, the who answered it? Phone. Someone, someone said. Okay, what's your name, mister? What's your name? Uh, uh, Anderson. Where? Anderson. Okay, thank you, Anderson. Yes. That's the answer. Um, with irregular verbs, uh, something that we have to do is memorize them, all them, okay? Why? Because 
those irregular verbs change in form most of the time, okay? So for that reason, uh, when learning English, something important uh, to construct sentence in past, uh, and mostly if we want to report something that happened in, 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 the, in the past, is to memorize all those verbs. Why? Because we uh, sometimes we, uh, it can be a little bit confusing when when uh, using the regular verbs and, and maybe someone gives gives to you um, uh, a verb and you add ed and it's supposed that that verb must be uh, irregular and that means that the verb has, would change. Um, Someone has the, the, his or the microphone open. Can you please turn it off? I don't know who. Let me check. I'm sorry, guys. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. There. Let's see. Uh, I was telling you uh, that the irregular verse must be learned and must be memorized. Okay, um, well, in this case, we have a sim, a, the structure of the simple past, and I will give you some uh, verbs. I will write a list of verbs that you must use in um, this uh, type of tense, in simple past tense. I will use just the infinitives, and then you are going to construct a sentence using a, a verb, that is in the list that I'm going to write here. Uh, I will use blue. Let me see. To learn to speak to write to listen to uh, in to what else could be to play for instance okay there you have a uh, six verbs you can use whatever you want and you must construct a sentence using that verb go ahead after you finish the 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 sentence you must post it in the chat as you did before with simple uh, present tense. You must construct a sentence and post Teacher, it. Tell me. Excuse me, I have a question. Oh, go ahead. Usted escribe y lo pone en, en la pantalla o, o solo está escribiendo para usted? Es que yo lo veo desde mi teléfono, entonces no sé si usted lo escribe y lo comparte. Yes, I'm, I'm sharing the whiteboard right now. You can see the whiteboard? Yes. Yes, I can. Yes. Hey, Miss Siciliano? I cannot. You, can, you cannot see the... I the... not. Oh. No, That's I a not big see. problem. That's a big problem. Um, let me see. How can I do this? Ah. Well, I will share uh, with you. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Oh. I see. Yeah. Thank okay. you. You can see it right now? Thank you, teacher. I see. Yes, I see. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> I didn't listen to you. Can, uh, you can see now the whiteboard? You can see the list of the words? Yes, I see. <laughs> okay, Lo que okay. sucede es de que tengo que mover la pantalla y como estaba desde mi celular, no oh, se podía ver todo. Thank oh, you, got teacher. It. Sorry. Got it. Got it. Teacher, I think that you write eh, eh, at the end de, de la pantalla, al final de la oh, pantalla. Que okay, I will move it. I will move it. Ajá, si escribe más en medio, lo pueden ver. In this way? Okay. In that yes. way? It's much better. Yes, thank you. Okay, and yes, I will move this. There. Sorry, I didn't know that you you, you can see the, the, the whiteboard completely. 
But you have to learn. There is the list you must Teacher, use. For do you want two sentences in sentence present in? No, no, no. Just, just one sentence. Listen. Huh? Just one sentence using simple past tense. Just one. Okay. You, you can decide which word do you want to use, but you must write just one sentence. Teacher, I mean? maybe I have an advice for the people who couldn't see the whole screen. Okay. Go maybe ahead. you guys should put the your cell phone in horizontal way because when it's vertical, you can see the oh. whole screen. Maybe okay. you should change it to horizontal. Okay, good advice. So you listen. Um, you can do it in that way if you want. I guess that's, that is enough. I think that I wrote all the sentences that you that you wrote in the in the chat. Very good. Uh, well, let's check. Let's see. Uh, well, we're going to check one by one. We're going to start with this one. This one, okay. Um, I play volleyball um, with my friends in the morning. I play volleyball, uh, volleyball with my friends in the morning. Okay, tell me, okay. is it correct or incorrect? It's correct. It's correct. Okay. It's correct. Excellent. Um, she played with me. She played Please with me. Oh, Very yeah. good. Okay. Uh, let me see. My brother spoke to the president last month. Is it correct? Oh, it's correct. Okay, yes. Oh. Remember that we must add the period at the end. And it is correct. Okay. I wrote my homework yesterday. Is it correct or incorrect? It's correct. All right. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, let's see. I, I wrote a poem in English. Is it correct? Yes, All it right. is. Okay. Right. John bought a president. Uh, I mean, John <laughs> bought a present for his sister. It's correct. It's correct. All right. Okay, very good. My uncle. Clementine, correct or incorrect? Correct, correct. Excellent, you did it well. Ah, here. <laughs> okay. Uh, I walk. Leather. Okay. Se me fue la B. Okay, okay, leather. Okay, okay, got it. This must be the letters, right? I awoke <laughs> later this morning. Okay. And the other one, let's see. I write 
I mean, I wrote an article about the uh, a success woman. Yes, it is correct. Excellent. You did it well. Very good. Sure. Tell me. What is a walk? Huh? The, the last one. Is that right? A walk? A walk is when you like wake up. Okay. Teacher. Okay. Tell me. Teacher. Y later, con dos t. later. No, with just with one T A. Thank you. It's just ah. with <laughs> later. Ah. Later. Yes. Ah. I, I didn't see I didn't see that mistake. Okay, thank you. Later. Must be with just one T. <clears throat> okay, so you did it well. Very good. Um, well, let me see. I have a... We have a candy. <laughs> you, <laughs> you need a... Yes. <laughs> You deserve it, okay? <laughs> you deserve it. Very good. So, you did well. Um, that means that you manage all those topics uh, that, in this case, simple present and uh, uh, simple past, you manage it very well. I will clear these all drawings and I will show you the presentation. Congratulations to everybody, the ones who participate, of course. Um, let me see the presentation here. Oh, well. We have a problem here because we don't have time to see the other the other um, the other tense that is the future. Okay, simple future. And uh, I think that we're going to see this this part tomorrow uh, at the night. This is the, the we're going to to continue with, with this. But tomorrow, because we don't have time, because it is uh, night fifty-five, we just missed five minutes. Uh, I will spend this time, these five minutes, asking you if you have any question about the platform. Uh, do you, do you complete the exercise? Do you want to know something about the platform? Uh, do you have a, any problem with the platform? Do you have a, something that that you want to comment? Uh, to ask, please, this is the time that you can do it. This is the moment that you can ask. So let me know. Okay, let me know. Okay, I think that nobody has questions for me. Well, so then I will ask you, um, do you feel comfortable with uh, the way that I'm, uh, I'm teaching? Uh, because something that I, I, I do is to speak just in English. Do you like it in that way? Or do you want me to go slowly? Or you want me, uh, well, to explain uh, something's better, so please let me know, because I, I want to listen. What do you think um, about this, this process? Do you think this? That's good. It's good? That's good. That's yeah. good, teacher. Good because... You're having a good face. Um, for me, it's going well. OK. Very good. I think it's good for me. Yes, of course, because we can see the structure, we can see some examples. Okay, very good. Uh, if something that I will I, I will ask you to you is that um, when I I have a question for everybody, uh, don't wait till uh, I shoot someone. Please, you can uh, share your opinion. You can uh, share. Uh, you comment about it uh, about any anything that I can I can ask 
uh, because in that way you are practicing. It's because uh, something that, that, that we must keep in mind when learning English is that we must practice, okay? We must practice, practice, practice. And uh, to, to, to um, well, uh, work in the, in the in speaking part, this is a good resource that we can take into account uh, during the course, okay, this, this video conference, because you have the opportunity to talk and to practice. Uh, sometimes we're going to be working in, in breakout rooms, like we did yesterday, um, and you ha will have the opportunity to share ideas, to, to uh, comment something, to share experience, and well, uh, more things. Um, so, well, I think that uh, the time is over, and I'm going to see you tomorrow night. And um, I, I will be, uh, well, we are going to be con continuing with it. Really, really the time is over. So, blessings for all of you. Tell me, nice. What time is it, teacher? I don't have a clock. Oh, it's 10, 10 o'clock. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, it's night. It's interesting, your class. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, blessings for all of you. Uh, good night for everybody. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a nice night. See you. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Good night. 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 Good